In this video, I'm going to show you how to do basic speed ramping inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have some footage on your timeline, as you can see, I've just got this shot of me pulling from right to left. I'm in the middle of Camden, in the middle of London. There's a bus passing the front of the camera and I'm shooting in half time. So I'm shooting in 49.9 frames per second. So in order to speed this up, let's say I want to speed this up here just as the bus comes into frame. We'll select C on the keyboard to load the razor tool, make a cut here, and then we'll move to the right to where we want to continue. So let's begin with a very subtle speed ramp. So we'll only go to around here. So we've got the lamppost on the left and then we'll just travel to where it's on the right. So around here, and we'll make a cut there. We're gonna to go to the second video here. We'll right click, go into speed slash duration and we'll change the speed to 250%. Then we'll just close that gap. And if we play this back, we've got this very simple and very basic speed ramp. And of course, the same thing works for if we're going in the opposite direction. So if we want to start in real time and then slow down. So we'll start this bit in real time. We'll make a cut here to go into slow-mo. We'll right click, go speed slash duration, and we'll pull this down. So I'm gonna pull that to 100. So we're playing back in real time. And then we slow down there. Of course, though, if you wanted to create quite a dramatic speed ramp, so let's go back to this first one. You can see we've got this quick speed ramp here. Let's just extend this second clip out. So this is the sped up clip. We're going to increase this all the way up to 1000. And then we'll go a few frames to the right. We'll make a cut and we'll pull this back to 100%. And if we play this back, you get this really quick speed ramp. And there you go. That is the basics of how you create a really simple speed ramping effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, before we finish the video, I should note it is really important that you have high frame rate footage in order to speed ramp into slow motion. If you just wanted to go from real time into super quick motion and then back into real time, you can shoot in whatever frame rate you need. But if you wanted a fast motion into slow motion, then you're going to need at least 50 or 60 frames per second footage in order to do this. Because if you slow down 25 frames per second footage, your footage is going to look really jolty and jittery and it won't look professional at all. So if you're doing speed ramping with slow motion, make sure you get that high frame rate footage. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.